Hey there, do you want to learn all about a function called sum if in MS Excel? If yes, then this video is absolutely for you. Do watch it without the fail. In this video, I am going to explain the easy steps to write the sum if function in Microsoft Excel. I will take you through the complete steps in constructing the sum if function from scratch. And also, this has been done using a very simple data and will be very easy to recreate and understand. So go ahead and watch this video and to do the practice use the exercise sheet which which can be downloaded from the link provided in the description of this video so go ahead and watch it and learn it and enjoy it hello everyone welcome back to this microsoft excel tutorial journey with me on my knowledge factor youtube channel this is session number 118 and we are learning the conditional functions in microsoft excel all right so we just saw the if function and we talked about the count if function as well in the last video now we are going to take a look at another function that is called some if function we are going to take the if that we just got done talking about and combine it with the sum function that we talked about much earlier in this course and if you have missed watching that video i have just provided the link of that video at the top here you can just go ahead and watch it so now sum if I want to sum if this is true. That would be my approach with this formula. Take a look. So I am going to go over to the sum if worksheet here. Just to the right of the current worksheet. And now on this worksheet I have got a simple little table. I got the month, store number, SKU, sales and units. Right. Now off to the right I have this small table as well. Where we are going to be performing the sum if operation. So for the first one, cell H3, I want to get a total of units, right? That's E column over here. Unit column, right? Give me the total sum of all the units. But oh wait, no, right? I only want to get the sum of the units where the store column is equal to 3000. Getting it? So we know how to sum up a column we learnt it earlier as well. We can just write equal and then sum and then open parenthesis and grab the range of cells, right? But that would sum up everything. With the sum if function, we will specify the range that we want to sum, but we will also specify the criteria. So as an example, total units, I want to sum up the unit column, but I want the function to look at the store column as well first. And I want it to identify only the 3000 stores. That's it. So give me the units of each of the 3000 stores. And there's a few of them in here, right? In this table and sum those up and then we will repeat it for the sales, for the total sales. Okay. I want to sum up the sales column, but only for the store number 3000. All right, let's go ahead and do that practical so that you it will be more clear for you. Now, later on, we are also going to see the another function that's very similar to this D sum. And uh, there's some advantages and disadvantages to both of them though. So just remember that we have got some if right now, but uh, we are going to see another one later on and that's called D sum. All right. So here's the sum if we are going to see first. I'm going to do the units first. So I'll just go to cell H3. I'll, I will click into that cell and I'm just going to type this in. I'll say equals sum if. I'm going to open up a parenthesis for the sum if and it got three arguments here range, criteria, and sum range. So it got the range first that you want to search for the criteria. In this case, the store number from B3 down to wherever it goes. So, and the next thing it wants to know is the criteria. And what is that you are searching for, right? Well, we are searching for this right here, 3000, right? And then it wants to know the range that you want to sum. All right, watch this. So first the range, I'm going to grab uh, uh, B3. I'm going to press Ctrl, Shift and down arrow and that will grab the entire range until it finds an empty cell. So that went from B3 to B272 and I'm then going to do a comma 
all right and then the next thing i want to know i'm just going to scroll that to the top is the criteria right it found the range now i now what do you want to search for inside that range well i want to find a store number 3000 now a formula is covering this g3 cell so i can't click into it to just pick that g3 so i can just type here g3 simply so i can't click into it but i can type g3 okay so that will work just fine because i want to find the content of that cell which is 3000 then i'm going to do a comma and the last thing excel wants to know is the range that you want to sum in this case we are getting total units right so i'm just going to grab the cell e3 and from here i'll just press ctrl shift and down arrow and all the way down to e272 that's it right that's it three little things what's your initial range what's the criteria that you want to search within that range and then what's the range you want to sum that's it so close the parenthesis hit my enter key and the total units for store number 3000 is 17538 done I didn't have to filter. I didn't have to sort the list. I didn't have to do anything extra to the list. It's just the sum if function that does it all for you. So now if I change this from 3000 to let's say 1050, which is one of the store in here, if you see in the second row column number cell number B4. So that is one of the store in the table and I changed it to 1050 and I'll just hit the enter key and it will update the total units to 16502 right just like that change the value again update it and done it updated again to 17538 right now with the sum if I am going to double click that cell again and I reference the cell which is great G3 it's huge because like you just saw I can modify the cell and it would update the formula but you can also with the sum if I can put the criteria directly into the formula so what I will if I remove this g3 and just directly put 3000 so I'm not referencing the cell anymore I'm just putting the value and this is the static value that I want to search for I hit my enter key and give me the same result 17538 right so this is one of the beauty of SUMIF. The criteria can be on the worksheet, make it more interactive, user can change it, it would update the formula or you can put the criteria directly as a static value inside the formula itself. Right? That's it. Now I'm going to leave this up to you, do the SKU, drop down, do the total units for the SKU, do the total sales for the SKU for the criteria E0032M. I'm going to do it one for you for the total sales just to demonstrate it again so really quickly just equals sum if range criteria and sum ranged where do you want to search I'm going to grab the cell b3 control shift down arrow comma I get back to the top and I'll just grab g3 comma and what do I want to sum now the sum range will be D3, control shift down arrow to D272. I'll close the parenthesis and hit the enter key. And it gave me the result as 4,91,064. Done. Alright. A beauty of a function. All built into the function. Don't have to filter. Don't have to sort. Do, don't have to do any extra steps. Nothing funny with the list itself, right? It does it all for you. So just try it out. Give it a try. Get into the cell H5 and I5. And do the same thing. Repeat it and do the exercise. Do the practice. But for the SKU column, right? Right here. So get the proper SKU. So that's all for today. That's what I wanted to share with you and hope you enjoyed this session and learned like how you can use the sum if function inside the Microsoft Excel. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And as I always say, if you like this video and enjoying this journey, then please do like, share and subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon and select it to all to get the latest content update on this channel. All right, then we'll meet up in the next session. In case you have any questions, any concerns, then do let me know in the comment section of this video. So see you in the next session. Till then, stay safe, have a great life and take very good care of yourself.